Neil, you must be happy with the news that the WSF Open and Junior Championships will be played in Australia in January and February 2023. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, you know, great news to get like another you know major sporting event in Australia, and um, you know the opportunity as well for you know um, to have the tournament move from different countries and different regions year after year is fantastic because you know it's not always easy to find the travel expenses you know required to to get there. Um, and you know, hopefully, we see you know quite a few Australians um, entering the tournament because um, you know the tournaments it's open for for everyone to enter all all genders and ages. Um, so hopefully, the tournament's really well supported. And you've accepted an invitation to be the official ambassador for the WSF events. Um, it must be rewarding to be approached for the role. Yeah, it's really nice. It's you know it goes to show you that um, yeah you know, I, I like to think I've been doing something right to try and sort of promote the sport back home whenever I can. Um, it's very difficult because I don't get to go home you know, as often as I'd really like to, you know, to help try and promote the sport. But um, I think I've shown you know, over the years um, with players who have been qualifying for tour cards, the financial support I've been giving them and you know, even letting them you know, sort of stay with me. Um, I always want to see the best for, for the Australian players and um, hopefully this will be a, a stepping stone you know, to have a few more younger players coming through. Um, you know, maybe not win the event, who knows, but um, certainly get a good experience on, on playing in an in a international event. And what would you say to any aspiring players who are thinking about playing in the WSF events in Sydney? Yeah, I mean, like I say, it, it's <coughs> open to everyone. You know, there's no kind of restrictions with qualifying or anything like that. Everyone can, anyone who, who fancies um, the chances in the event, you know, can, can enter. And, um, I think that's what is also really good about it is that there's no restrictions attached. You know, if someone thinks they're good enough, they can enter and, and play in the event. And how well do you know the Mounties Club, the host venue? Really well, actually. I think the last time I was there, I beat Steve Misford in the final Australian Open 8-1. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've got great memories of, of the venue and um, the fact that it's held uh, during the Australian summer as well. Uh, means that everyone who's going over there is, is, is worst case scenario, going to have a great holiday as well. So, um, and, and it's a brilliant club. You know, the, the, there's an awful lot you know going on in um, you know sports facilities and entertainment. Um, so, it, it's one of these tournaments where players go to, and they're going to be talking about all the things they've done away from the table as well. Mm -hmm. And finally, Neil, the, the, the ABSC and WSF have put together a raffle prize of a trip for two people to go to the Crucible to watch every session of the quarterfinals onwards at the World Championships next April and May. Have you ever seen a better prize than that? No, I don't think so. Mm. Definitely. Can I enter that? <laughs> 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 I might make the quarters. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, brilliant prize, obviously, to, to give away, and, uh, you know, you'd be crazy not to enter in that. We hope you make the quarters, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>